Good evening everyone and welcome to Monday Night Football from the Theatre of Ice Creams. Don't pull the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship it might be a last. Hey! Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. The sailor ain't a sailor ain't a sailor anymore. Oh, the kid of a mess. He said we got it soft. Wasn't like that in it day when we were up aloft. I like me bunk and sling me back of what's a hammered for. Swing it from the deck and a line on the floor. Don't fall on the road, don't climb up the mast. The pitch has been cleared of spider crabs, so we're good to go. Sky Sports review the Monday night football with their 16 cameras and almost as many pundits. But they couldn't get a parking space, so it's up to me tonight. I've only got one camera though, but I'll do my best. Looks like I'll be doing the punditry and also the VAR. Obviously, you can subscribe to Surprise Videos on Facebook or Cornish Pasty Men on YouTube for free, so that's a better deal than Sky. And here we have two teams walking football, Toby Carver in goal down there. Uh, and the RLI, yes, finished with some aplomb there. The game totally dominated by the RLI at the moment. They look like they've uh, been training hard for this and have got a coherent strategy. The Mariners looking a bit of a rabble at the moment. And then referee's blown up there. Not quite sure what that's for. And again, let the game flow, ref. Game just looking free kick here. Oh, hitting the old beans on toast. Bad luck. Controversial penalty has been awarded. James Ryle taking it against Peter Tanner. Peter doing well there, but uh, was there encroachment? We'll never know. The ref doesn't seem to care. And even with this elevated view, it's hard to see what system's being played. It's more like football as set to free-form jazz. A bit like Johan Cruyff's great Dutch side of the mid to late 70s. The RNLI team there having a bit of a conference. James muscling in to see if he can pick up some information. A bit of a midfield scuffle going on. Norman putting his foot through it, but it'll come through to Peter. Calm like Edison there, look at that. Playing out from the back, beautiful stuff. When you cross this Tamar into this promised land, there's one thing to remember, one thing to understand. That Cornwall's not a county, just sided in the west. But Cornwall is a country, the one we love the best. So let's hear it for Trelawney, may his army never die. Let's hear it for Trevillick, with his engine steaming by. Let's hear it for the farmers, and for the fishermen. Let's hear it for the miners, so we hope we'll mine again. Charlie Hodgson there, with his wand of a right foot. This looks promising. Oh, a little bit of fancy footwork. He's diddled him, Norman. Plays it square. Oh, sheer bad luck. Hits the, hits the goal post. Peter Tanner there with the flypaper hands. David Watson in possession. He never lost his pace because he didn't have any in the first place. Early on, there was a bigger crowd queuing for fish and chips, but the numbers have really filled up now. Got a lioness out there by the look of it in the second half, that's good. Oh. That's a free kick because the ball left the ground, so no good hoofing it long and hoping the big man, or indeed the big woman, will do any good. Who's free kick? Our free kick. Got David Watson there, what magic can he work up? Just knocks it sideways. Somebody there with a turning circle of the Queen Mary, we don't know who it is. Oh, good save again there. Calm play. For... Ouch! I've stood on a crab. Apparently a good goal has been scored, but I was too busy filming this. Now we've got a car on the pitch. You know that little car that used to bring the ball out in the Euros? Well, we've got a bigger car. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. 
Again, Peter still doing a great job between the pots. Oh, goal there from the Lioness. Hodson there. Oh, marvellous. Marvellous. Thought I saw a late tackle in there, but uh, I suppose he got there as fast as he could. It's 3 1 to the lifeboat crew, and just 20 seconds left. Peter a bit fortunate there. Never cross the line! Never cross the line! <laughs>